This tutorial explains how to fix the error message could not find a function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you an example how to reproduce and how to fix this error message in R. And in this example, I'm using the sample n function of the deep liar package to illustrate the error message. So let's assume that we want to apply the sample n function to a data frame object in the R programming language. Then we might try to simply apply this function to our data frame object, as you can see in line two of the code. However, if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error message error in sample n could not find function sample n has been returned. And the reason for that is that I have not installed and loaded the deep liar package yet. So if we want to use the functions of a package such as the deep liar package, we first need to install and load this package. And this is what I'm doing in lines four and five of the code. I have installed this package already and this needs to be done only once. So for that reason, I'm not running line four of the code. However, I'm running line five of the code in which I'm using the library function to load the functions of the deep liar package in the current RStudio session. So if you run line five of the code, our functions are loaded to our current RStudio session. And in line seven of the code, I'm applying exactly the same code as in line two. So if you run this line of code, you can see that a valid output is returned and the error message could not find function sample n has not been returned anymore. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.